Consider the following question. Find the polar form of z equals 1 plus the square root of 3i, which is a complex number given in Cartesian form, where x is equal to 1 and y is equal to the square root of 3. The first thing that we are going to do is to plot our complex number. So remember, if we plot our real and imaginary axis, we can consider that x equal to 1 is around here, and that y equals to the square root of 3 is somewhere here. Just note that this is a rough sketch. Therefore, we can conclude then that our complex number is placed in the first quadrant. And all angles in the first quadrant are between 0 and 90 degrees, or 0 and pi over 2 radians. The first thing that we are going to calculate is the modulus. And remember, to get the modulus of a complex number, r, we just need to calculate the square root of x squared plus y squared. So if we replace x and y in this formula, we get that r is equal to the square root of 1 square plus the square root of 3 everything squared, which gives the square root of 1 plus 3 as the square root and the square cancel, and that gives us 1 plus 3, which is 4, so the square root of 4 is 2, and therefore, in our case, we can conclude that the modulus of our complex number is 2. To get the argument, remember that tan of theta is equal to y over x, which in our case means that tan of theta is equal to the square root of 3 over 1, which means that tan of theta is equal to the square root of 3. And remember, this is called a trigonometric equation because your unknown is inside a trigonometric ratio. In order to get theta, we have to ask ourselves which angle has tangent equal to the square root of 3. And in some cases, you can find the answer to this question either by using your log tables or by using your calculator. If you are in the case of a non-trigonometric ratio, which means a ratio that you can find in your log tables, as is the case of our example here, tan of theta is equal to the square root of 3, to find out the angle, you just need to go to your log tables and find out which angle has tangent equal to the square root of 3. If you follow the table, that brings us back to 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. Therefore, you can answer that theta in this case is pi over 3. And at this stage, it's really important that you remember the plot of your complex number so you can make sure that the answer you're given is the right one. Pi over 3 is an angle in the first quadrant and if you remember the plot of our complex number, then you can actually check that your answer, which is in the first quadrant, matches the plot of your complex number. And therefore, theta equal to pi over 3 is the right answer. The second option to find the argument, if you don't want to use the log tables, would be to use your calculator. So remember, we wanted to solve tan of theta is equal to the square root of 3 which was a trigonometric equation, because theta is inside a trigonometric ratio. If we want to get theta by itself, we need to apply inverse tan in both sides of the equation, which gives theta is equal to the inverse tan of the square root of 3. Remember, inverse tan is denoted by tan minus 1. Now, if you want to solve this, you need to go to your calculator and do the following. We need to press the button for inverse tan, and then 
we need to press the button for the square root of 3. Keep an eye on this because in most calculators, tan minus 1 is just on top of the button for tangent. So usually you have it somewhere here. And in order to get the inverse tan, you need to apply the shift button first. If we do so, you will find that theta is equal to pi over 3 or 60 degrees, which would be the same answer that you can get if you use the log tables. And in this case, make sure that you read your answer in the right units, as remember that your calculator can work in both degrees and radians. If we now compile all the information obtained, we know that modulus is equal to 2, argument is equal to pi over 3. And therefore, to get the polar form of a complex number, remember that we have z is equal to r by cos of theta plus i sine of theta, which in our case is 2 by cos of pi over 3 plus i sine of pi over 3. Therefore, this is the polar form of z equals 1 plus the square root of 3i.